So, my friend Timmy, I found out from Riki that another one of the bandits who raided Neoi Huff is apparently hiding out in a windmill south of Merhead. Inquire after Timmy at the windmill. No biggie. Let's head out over there. I'm trying to think of all the different mechanics in this game, like what... How... what mechanic in this game could possibly help me reach that thing? The platform isn't real that points at it, which is incredibly baffling, because you'd think that in basic testing, if you just played the quest once, you'd be like, oh, there's a platform pointing at it that's not real. We should probably either make it real or get rid of it, because that's the first thing anyone would try to use. But then, like, my bow does knock it down. It's definitely out of sword range. I don't have a halberd or any sort of, like, uh, polearm weapon. I don't really have any... That's, it's just... Uh, I think what's kind of frustrating is that the, uh, I, I had a good time doing this quest. Because it, even if the tasks weren't the most interesting things ever, it was just, it was kind of building up to something narratively. And it's like dealing, it's like, there's a responsibility to deal with, uh, with the, rem the remains. Are you blind for Christ's sake? There's people walking. People walking. That guy went on for a while. Uh, it's probably because I didn't hit him with the horse. I think part of it was that, yeah, just while the tasks weren't the most crazy and exciting things ever, it was a variety of tasks that were taken on to help a bunch of people at a single hospital that all need help and a sense of, like, accomplishment of, from doing it all, but also a, set of commi a sense of, uh, 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 a sense of commitment because it's your, a decent number of them are people from your village, and you also get some skill ups, it all just all works together well. These other two quests, you're just... Just given nothing to go on. Like, just nothing to go on. They just like, hey, yeah, go get this thing. And then that's all the dialogue. It's really disappointing for the dialogue just to be, hey, yeah, get this thing. And then it's like, you have to like intuit or look up, I guess, what even to do for most of it. And that's just a disappointing part of the quest design I've been encountering on and off lately. It's just trying to figure out what the game wants from you half the time. You're supposed to find. You're supposed to a know where the monastery is already. B figure out where the library is, and then which part of the library may or may not be the part where they keep like the 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 forbidden books. Then figure out how to gain access to the forbidden books library, and then then steal it. And it's like, I don't know how to f do most of those things. And the quest, the the quest doesn't give you access to like contacts with people that might be able to help you. You can't like. You can't, like, plan a heist. Like, if it was a... If this was a, uh, a Witcher quest, I feel like it would start off simple and then just start spiraling out of control with crazy as you just go on a rollicking adventure of all these different things and you meet all these different characters along the way and it just started off with one lady talking about having spooky phantoms in her house, but you made friends along the way and all this cool shit happened. Uh, and you did a heist, which is a thing that happens, is you plan, you plan a heist in some of the parts of Witcher 3. And, but in this game, it's like, hey, yeah, go find this, and then you're just, and then you're just left to do that. Which can work for a lot of 0451 style games where the games are just about finding your own solutions to things and wandering around and doing stuff. But if you're just given nothing, though, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, even the games that leave you totally to your own devices will often give you some kind of ways of accomplishing what you're supposed to do and finding the information. I just, I don't know how I would figure out what to do, is the problem. Is that the windmill? I think I've seen the windmill up on the horizon before. One question is just the issue of whether this is going to be a light armor, light armor, talky talky time, like it was with Riki, in that there was no fight, and so being ready for conversations can help, or if I should be all up for a fight. We're going to a windmill to inquire after someone, so 
theoretically, we're not up for a fight yet. Oh, this is not the right path. I mean, it's, I know already know already know it's not the path, but I thought we'd get through it. Nope, right over here. Hello, I would like to ask about a person. That's pretty much it. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, um... A complete numbskull? Aye. He works here. Or he used to. I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. Far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Mirka. She works here too. Talk to Mirka. Nope, that might be her. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Uh, I already know it's your sibling. I was already told that. But the others know him. Is that... I think that's specifically... I think the star means that's a quest dialogue that I, where I automatically win because... It's not based on the three dialogue option stats, but it's just like a special like, hey, I already know, man. All the others know him, so how come you don't? All right, but not here. We'll talk around the back behind the mill. What were you doing with your... Oh, she's supposed to be using that. Yeah, that was supposed to be in her hands. Doggo! Hey! I'm overfed again. <sighs> I really don't like that mechanic either. I've talked about it before, but it's, it makes no sense that there's no way to avoid being overfed. Why is it that when I go to a pot, I can only eat exact amounts of food? It's not like every time I go to sleep or wait, I have to wait or sleep the same amount of time. I can, I can set it to be exactly how much waiting or sleeping I want to do. Why can't I eat how much I want to eat? What, what, in what world is that a thing? Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things, but I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. <sighs> Well, they caught on fast. She is. I get the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. So the answer to the question of do I wear fancy clothes or armor, uh, both answers were correct. And both answers were wrong. No, armor was the way to go because I got a magic answer that fixed the whole problem. So charisma was not helpful here at all. Yay. Why do you care so much is a weird thing to say to somebody that you know is the sibling of the person you're looking for. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. I'm afraid I don't know anything about him. That's a shame. A crying shame. I take good care of people who help me. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. Oh. Just a straight up lie. Yes. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. 
Oh, yeah? Where in Ratai? He's at the butchers. They're his kin. Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Come on, boys! Yay! Hello, Radan. I just need to lose you, apparently. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't betray him to his hiding spot. It's a review where he's supposed to be. He's actually really nearby, right? Yeah. So they're going all the way down to Ratai, which is a hell of a trip. I don't know where he is, but I gotta deal with the fact that Radan is here. Is he just gonna be following me around non-stop? Great. What a great new problem. Don't fucking annoy me. Don't annoy me? Don't fucking annoy me. Okay. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna have to deal with you. Because you're the same guys I've killed before, so I'm pretty already committed to that idea, frankly. Right, the armor's over here. This should take... <laughs> Talking about how silly this can get. It's just like he's gonna like not even notice that I'm like running around like a loon- Like I'm just suiting up to murder him, basically. That's fun. This is a good piece of armor, isn't it? Or is it not? It's just an outer jacket. I don't think it's actually worth wearing for that purpose. It's a charisma item. There we go. I just keep- I keep mistakenly putting it in there because, uh... It's technically better than what's in that slot, because nothing's in that slot. I don't have an armor slot for that yet. I don't know if that is an armor slot. I think it might just be cosmetic only, judging by the weird little... ...tassel-looking icon that it has on it. Okay. Oops. Over I'm overburdened. That fixes that. I don't have a weapon. Or, I don't have a bow, I mean. Actually, I kind of don't need a bow. But I'll equip it anyway. A melee weapon's better served here, because this asshole... Uh... Is currently set up with a... Bow. Is there a limit to how far I'm allowed to go? So he's gonna keep following me. I've already made an enemy of this group because I've killed members of them before, but they don't know who I am. Which is going to change now because they definitely know who I am now. Or at least they, they, the people that I recognize me have left now. Hello. There we go. Nobody tell anyone, alright? Ooh, lockpicks. How exciting. Villagers, you bow. More arrows. Always gotta keep those around, right? All of this stuff kinda sucks. I'll grab some gloves and bow, I guess. All right, well, we don't want anyone to notice you. There's a whole, like, area of villagers around here. Let's go find a ditch to dump you in. Here. Come hang out vaguely near what may or may not be shiitake mushrooms, I'm not really sure. Enjoy the ragdoll. I'm pretty sure, based on the black and white that they're wearing, that he's the same group of the people I've already killed before. So I'm kind of used to that now. I'm over it. I've crossed that line at this point, I think. Anyway, time to switch back to being a beautiful, beautiful man.
17 versus 19. I always, I, I need to sell these off. I keep forgetting to. That's a 13. That's an 8. Should be a net gain then. Charisma 5. 16 actually. 18. 11. Are you guys picking up right about now? <laughs> Why somebody might want to have sets so they can rapidly switch between what they want? Holy shit. That's a five. Pretty straightforward concept. I want to wear the items that are good for charisma and not the ones that aren't good for charisma. And that is a harder thing to do than it should be. Do they have a trough to clean up on? Also, did any of them- none of them witnessed that, right? We were like down and around the corner and out of the way. They might get in some trouble when the bandits come back. Which will be unfortunate. Charisma 17 like a badass. There we go. There he is. Coming out of the side of a wall or something. Alright. Let's go get to this guy before they find out where he is and probably murder him or something. Oh shit, I didn't really mean to go this way, but let's just commit. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Yeah. You badass, you. Gotta save his sis- we gotta save the sister's brother before the evil bandits find him. They left somebody on me, but I took care of him. God. He was the unlucky one. God. Oof. That was some health damage. Horse took a hit there. We don't need roads where we're going. I say every time because it's always true. <laughs> Oh, something's wrong with me. Where are we compared to that? Oh, it's behind the trees. That might be important. I don't know if it'll let me go through these trees or not. What? Not sure how I ended up facing that way. Oh my goodness. We can do this. We can do this, I believe in you. Wow, I did not expect to go that deep. What? Oh my god, oh my god. What have we done? Mistakes were made. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did they let you get in here? Okay, I'm kind of jumping over the bush now. At least there's that. Oh no. Ah, uh, is that progress? Yes. Holy shit, they let you get trapped in there. Alright, uh, my mistake. Looks like a road straight ahead. Hey buddy. Interesting how you managed to get out of there. Like to know how that happened. There's the road. They do not want you wandering in there. I wonder if there's like a special event you're only supposed to approach from a certain direction or something. It's a cool internal location. Nice looking. There we go. Found the place to cut through. Maybe we'll actually be able to help this guy before he has the fate of the last guy. 
Oh. Can't go past that. Unless I do this. You badass. Alright. This horse is just the best horse. <laughs> I don't need more horses. I don't need to get a single other horse. Just stay with this one, villager. How's my charisma? A+. Plus. I came a long way, so let's just go ahead and update that real quick. Timmy. Living a lie. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm alright. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. W what do you want? I it wasn't me. I, I didn't... I mean... Shit. I saw what you did at Neuhof. What are you talking about? You weren't there. Uh, I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosch and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinek told me about a whole camp full of those whore sons. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Do I look like someone who goes around hunting down half-wits for pleasure? No. I reckon not. But I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there, and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Talmberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutter's, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house. Only abandoned. Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. Oh, no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. No, don't worry. But in future, find some other way to make money. Like honest work? Thanks. I'll, I'll try. On account of my sister, at least. That girl at the windmill? Hi, Mirka. Did you talk to her? What did she say? She told me you're as thick as a fence post and always getting dragged into some mischief. Did she? Yeah, she's probably right. Uh, no attempt to tell him, hey, get out of here before you die. Nothing like that. What time is it? It's midday. I wish I could go check in with Sir Radzig, who I believe was like right near here, wasn't he? I guess that explains why he, like, why he'd be there for story reasons in this neighborhood, is it's actually where I'm going for the. Because he was right up there, right? Yeah. That makes a little more sense now that I just saw him around there. Is here for, for this quest's reason. When did I lose that chunk of health? 
Ow. I'll work with it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sir Radzik's just down the road from the guy that I was on this giant uh, adventure to find. Go figure, right? Alright, yeah, I wish I'd told him to leave. Run for it before somebody finds him, because I didn't- it wasn't that hard for me to find him, and they're going to kill him, I think. Greetings. What do you need? Every time I find you, you're sleeping. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Talmberg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. Easy peasy, right? So we're gonna go find another bandit camp, just like last time. Potentially the big one, the bad one, the crazy one. I'm glad our character seems to have been able to, to figure something out from all that crap that was being said. Because uh, that was some nightmare directions, and I did not have faith. But he figured it out. So there's that. I forgot that Timmy was supposed to be some big dude based on all the descriptions we got. He didn't stand out to me at all. I'm trying to think back to what I saw of him during the cutscene. To see to think of anything about that really stood out as being a larger character. And I'm not really convinced that it was. Hmm. So, on the map, A is the woodcutter's camp. Whoopsie. So A is the woodcutter's camp itself, which is where the directions kind of came from. I'm supposed to find it and scout it. But all I got was the woodcutter camp directions, right? I might have- so I, I might have to still interpret his directions then. Are they at least listed in there? North of Talberg, abandoned house. See how this goes. <coughs> Sorry. Path begins at the woodcutter's camp in the forest north of Townburg. To get there, I have to follow the road directly from the castle to the north. Abandoned house, tall beech tree, crossroads. Hopefully the uh, starting point will be helpful enough. I wonder if the... Am I going the right way even? Oh. A little more north than that. I wonder if the description of the quest, like, filtered down what the guy was saying to make it more useful. Because he was contradicting himself, he was rambling, he went on for ages. Uh, but it seems like maybe the description might have, like, pared it down to the correct elements or something. Not really sure. All I know is that it might not be that hard to find somebody in a forest. A big bandit camp probably stands out a bit. And the woodcutters might have something to say that's a little more useful. Or I might not be able to talk to them. Should I sleep first? Since apparently I can get away with doing that here. I mean, my energy is doing okay. It might restore my health. But I don't have much of that missing. My nourishment is currently at... 96. Uh, 
Is there a lead woodcutter? Oh, this is a big camp. When it came to the coal burner people, they had like a, a lead dude you could talk to. These guys might just be a bunch of randos. Hey, you guys got like dangerous boars on the edge of your camp. You guys worry about that at all? Come on, hit level 10. I said, come on, hit level... The blue ones aren't pickable. Hey, you come over here. You're also just a woodcutter. You're supposed to go to the fork in the path, right? Yeah, go to the fork with the ruined cabin. Go straight ahead to the next fork by the clearing with the beech tree. I think I went straight. Yes. What's, what's the beech tree look like? Is that the beech tree? It's kind of like the one big thing around here. Take a left and continue on the path to the next fork. Okay, so the directions go on the fly. That's handy. That's one way to avoid uh, having people Google how to find Caius Cosades. Hi. You're not gonna attack me, right? You don't. You're not one of them. Just a coincidence. Is that the next fork? No, it's just a little pit on the side. Yep. Next up is... Take a left and carry on to the junction. Lots of lefts. Might be lefts all the way down. Which makes it very easy to remember, actually. If that's the case. Carry on straight. So, a bunch of lefts and straights. God. I should probably be a little more worried right now. I might be walking directly into a bandit camp, in which case I will just die, if I'm not careful. So I plop to save before, before I make a terrible mistake. Sabotage the bandits before the, be the battle begins. I'm sure it'll be very easy. Alright. So now I know where they are. You can poison their food, you can set fire to the arrows. Are those the two things? Yep, poison food. Let's fire to arrows. Is the map any help here? Oh my goodness, look how big this place is. 